went to see the Lego Batman movie the other day, and it was totally awesome. Also, at the theater, we got four of these, so yeah, that's epic. Hello, everyone, it's Vak here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Lego Batman movie polybag, Batman and the Phantom Zone. So, let's see it. Alright, guys, so here it is, and this is just a really cool set. Um, this costs normally $4, but they were giving it away for free for anybody who got a ticket to see the Lego Batman movie. So, yeah, I got four of them, which is awesome, and I'm pretty sure that's only at the AMC theaters, but uh, just looks really cool there. There's the packaging. You can see that it has, um, like, the Phantom Zone. That's not really a spoiler because, you know, that's the name of the poly bag and stuff. Although, this is not really accurate to the movie. Um, those who have watched the movie, I mean, like, if you haven't watched the movie, go watch it already, gosh, it's, like, fantastic, but, uh, for those who have watched the movie, um, you know, this would be better if it came with Robin, and it was not called what it was called, it was called something different, and it came with a certain accessory that, uh, just makes really uh, much more sense to have. It also has a ticket to Legoland on the back for kids, and now let's get this thing open, so just grab my scissors, and I'll just snip off right here. And now let me dump out all the parts. So there they all are, and uh, just a bunch of awesome parts in this set. So yeah, let's get it built. Yeah, that's pretty funny, but, um, like, if you got all the sets, you have about 20 or something, I'm not sure, but, uh, right here you can see that he does have the newer style cloak, which is nice, only wish that Bat uh, Batgirl and Robin came with the newer style cloak, but they come with the older one, which is a bit annoying, I do wish that they had this one instead. Then he just has this cowl on, that looks cool, there is his, uh, first face, uh, that face is the same they use in, like, the other sets, I'm pretty sure. There's the other one, so yeah, that looks cool. And then he comes with a battering, which he does come with an extra one of those, so there that is. And he does come with an extra one of these, like, yellow utility belts, so yeah, that's awesome. Then there's his chest print, and nothing for leg print, but uh, that's a pretty cool minifigure. Alright guys, so here is the build for the set. Wait, what? Just kidding, here is the actual build for the set, and this looks totally awesome. Uh, this is in the movie, of course, and this actually is pretty cool because I got several of them. So, uh, you know, they did have several in the movie, so, you know, there's uh, another one. I've already built, I mean, I've already opened one up and built it, so there they are, and that looks totally awesome. Taking a look at some of the details, you can see that it just has loads of spikes, and also right here you can see that it has uh, some arrow pieces, which is really cool. And it does come with one extra of those, so here that is. And uh, something cool about that is that this is a new mold for their pieces. I'm pretty sure it's a new mold. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it just looks really cool there. Uh, kind of more blunt at the top. And these arrow pieces don't come out quite as far. But the part that I really like about it is that it doesn't have all these, like, uh, grooves in it. Because once you put that in a mini for your hand, it kind of, like, actually breaks the piece and makes it look all scuffed up and bad. So I am glad that they have gotten rid of those and just made it smooth. Looks much better. Then right here you can see it for the build that it has some lightsaber blades, which looks great. Uh, glad to get four of those. But actually, you know, since I got several, you know, that's a bunch of uh, awesome pieces. Right here you can see that it uses one of those. So I'm very glad to get one of those. Uh, those just look really cool. And this is, of course, dark red. It has three eyes in front using a bunch of these Exoforce robot hands. And then you can see it right here, these do kind of rotate, uh, not those, but these rotate, so uh, that's cool. But probably one of my favorite parts about it is that it actually comes with a clear stand. This is super 
super cool, uh, very unexpected for me actually, but I'm very glad that they did because it just adds to it way, uh, way more. Right here you can see that's just this super useful piece right there, never got one of those before, and then one of these attached into it, and then that just attaches to the bottom, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the set. Anyways, just wanted to give a very quick review of the Lego Batman movie. Didn't want to do a full video on it, but I'm just going to start by saying it was fantastic. I loved all the characters. It was super funny. My favorite character was uh, Robin. Please tell me in the comments below who was your favorite character out of, like, uh, the main three or just all of them, really. But I thought that was very funny. Loved the animation. Overall, I see that I didn't like it quite as much as the Lego movie, just because I like the characters in the Lego movie. Just better also is you know the first one so yeah fantastic movie if you haven't watched it go see it already it is great and that's pretty much it for my very short review of the lego batman movie all right guys so like i said i did get four of these so i think i'm going to do two together and then use the last uh, and then use the third as just the parts and then the last one i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do with it but uh yeah so that's pretty awesome and 